Do you currently struggle with adding shadows to your digital products? I have found an easy solution for you today that doesn't require fancy softwares like Photoshop, which have a learning curve. Now in this video, I will show you how easy it is to add realistic shadows to your products, making your mock-up photo stand out using my favorite graphic design tool, Canva. So if you wanna learn how to create shadows for your mock-ups, make sure to watch this video until the end. Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and want to learn how to turn your passions into profits, please subscribe to the channel. I upload weekly videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be the first one notified of any new videos. So let's head over to Canva to get started. All right, so here we are on canva.com. Now keep in mind that in order to use the shadow feature on Canva, you do need to have the Canva Pro account. So if you don't have one now, uh, make sure that you use my referral link. I will leave it right below the video as well as in the comments section. And you could try it out for 30 days to see if it's something that you would like to go ahead and upgrade so you could add, so you could use, excuse me, this additional feature plus other features that they have. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you how to create two types of mock-ups so let's go ahead and create the first one so i'm going to go ahead and create a design keep in mind that these mock-ups you could use not only if you're an Etsy seller you could use it for your website for your mock-ups for your instagram or social media posts um maybe you have shopify store so you could use this feature from canva for pretty much any small business out there that need to create a shadow effect that looks realistic for their digital products so the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to, well, let's leave it white for now. So I'm going to do a invite and I'm going to show you how to add a shadow for this invite. As you can see, because majority of the invite is white, it's blending in with the background. And that's a problem, right? Because if you're trying to sell digital products, even if you change the color to pink, it doesn't look realistic and the the point of adding shadows is so that it looks like it's a physical product like they're getting something physical even though it's a digital product so it's better if you add shadows usually um, a lot of people and how I usually do my shadows is using Photoshop but if you don't know how to use Photoshop it does have a learning curve so I'm glad that Canva has this new feature now because it's a lot easier to do so so once you have your product all you need to do is click on effects and if you scroll down, you're going to go to the shadow section. You could click on see all. And these are all the different types of shadow effects that you could um, add to this particular product. So the two that I found that were more useful for this type of product is the drop and the glow. So the drop gives you a shadow like on a corner right here. And I kind of like that. It looks realistic. It looks really nice. And if you click on the settings right here, you're able to change this. So you're able to change where the shadow appears. I prefer the bottom right, but you could do the top right if you wanted to. You could do on the right side only if you wanted to. That's another nice one actually. Um, bottom right, you could do bottom, and then you could do bottom left, and you could do top left. So it's really up to you which one you, you resonate with, which one you kind of like. Now, once you pick that, you're able to, or once you pick the shadow and where you want it at, you're able to change all of these different features here. So offset is on two right now. So you can make the shadow a little bit bigger if you wanted to, as you can see. For the purpose of this one, I think two is about the biggest I want it at. So I would change it to two. You can make it smaller as well. Now the angle is set at zero, but this is pretty cool because if you rotate, if you keep going, it keeps rotating. As you can see, it rotated to the right. And that's pretty cool if you sell like digital planners and you have multiple planners, one on top of the other, and you want to make the second planner kind of like to the side peeking out. That's really great for this right here. Transparency is how clear do you want that, um, the darkness of it. So if you go this way, it's going to get darker. If you go to the left hand side, it's gonna get lighter. So I kind of like it in like how it was originally, but I also like it a little bit lighter um, so it doesn't look too hard. So it really depends on what you wanna do, but I kind of like it between 30 to the original, which is 50. 
And then here you can make it blurry or not. Um, I prefer not to make it blurry. You could change the color of the shadow as well. Um, you could, I would prefer either black or like a lighter or like a grayish tone. I wouldn't change it to anything else um, different than that. Once you're happy with your settings, just click on apply. And another one is this one here, glow. Now the glow one gives you more of an all around effect. As you can see, it does the full effect and you could click on it for the settings. Right now the size is set on a four. So you could go ahead and change it up if you wanted to and make it more. I don't like it too heavy. So I think a four, even a five looks pretty good. Transparency, do you want it darker, right? Or do you want it lighter? I like the trend. I like it how it was originally and the blur. I barely ever touch this either um, color. Obviously, you could change the color if you want to. I would play around with grayish tone colors to black. I wouldn't change it to anything else. And then in addition to those two, they have all of these additional ones, but these are more based on whatever your product is. Um, this is almost like a back shadow of a, a product, a page lift. Let's see how that one would look with this. I don't, you see how I don't really care how it looks with this one. This is a curve. If you have something that's curved, this is what you will use. It doesn't look good on this one either. So for something like this, like a wedding invitation or a thank you card, the two that I would use is the drop and glow. Now let's go ahead and create a different type of uh, mock-up. So I'm going to show you based on, I just did, did these two mock-ups for my students that take the XC Mastery course. And this is a XC pre-launch checklist. So this is good for anyone out there that's selling like digital planners and maybe you combine them like this, you have like multiple pages. This will be really, really great so your page could stand out. All of the pages could have the shadow. So I'm gonna change this color because it's matching a little bit close to this one. So I'm gonna change it to, um, let's leave it in green for now. So then let's go ahead and use the effect again. So I'm going to go back to effect. I'm going to go back to shadows and let's do the glow one to see how it would look. I like that. It looks pretty realistic. And then once you have that one, then you will go to the second layer, which is this one here. And you will do the same thing. Go to shadows. For every page that you add, you will have to add the shadow individually. So keep that in mind. But look at how realistic this is starting to look. It looks very realistic. It looks pretty cool. You could kind of go like this if you wanted to. Um, this is kind of how I set up some of my listings. Um, let's say you have multiple pages, right? So let's push this to the back. And then what I would do is rotate this to the right, right? Kind of put it this way. And it looks really cool. It looks realistic. It looks like something that the customer is getting like a physical product. And let's say this was like a, a checklist for your uh, free lead magnet that you're offering. You could do it this way. Or maybe this is a planner that you sell um, on your store. You could do it this way as well. Um, as you can see, you could get as creative as you like. But it's really cool because you can add that shadow effect. Let's play around with another one just to see if any of these other ones might apply. So I'm going to do the drop one. So let's see here. So this one, oh, and you could combine shadows because now I have the first one, which was the glow, this all around. And then I clicked on drop and now I applied that little shadow to the right. So let's go ahead and do that again. So I'm going to go back to drop shadow. So you could do that combination of both. I don't think it looks bad either, actually. So let's go ahead and add the shadow to the third page. I wish you'd just stay in this page. I don't know why it keeps reloading. Um, so let's go ahead and see. And this is how it would look with that additional shadow. So now it has a combination of the glow and the additional shadow that we just added. Um, I think it looks pretty cool the way that it looks. And keep in mind, this is so easy to do. There's no technique that you have to do. There's no like, oh, you have to put little boxes on the back and change the color. It's so simple to use and play around with it. You could use it for 
pretty much any digital product that you need to create a shadow. If you have any questions about what I just mentioned, let me know in the comments below. And if I need to create a new video on a different topic, I will be more than happy to do so. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something new on how to create realistic shadows to your digital products. Um, make sure that you leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching.